So we got the test results back for the lawn and I just did a cut and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to start with the chemicals going down on the lawn today. Uh, this is the cut. looks pretty good. It's not, not perfect, but it's stressing a little bit. Even though it's sunny and it's hot, we're going to put down quite a bit of uh, potassium, nitrogen. We'll see how it goes. But right now, it's looking pretty good. I went down a little bit lower today. It's a very low cut. It's like I'm flirting with disaster with the low cuts, but from what, what I'm reading on the tests, I'm in need of almost everything. So what we're going to do is we need nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the three numbers. So I have two things. I have the stress blend, which has 7020, and I have one bag of starter fertilizer from Sunday that I'm going to use. So you see those numbers? We're going to... So what I'm going to do, and I'm probably going to burn my lawn, and you guys are going to tell me if what I do is wrong or what, but I'm going to show you the results. So far, I've been getting good results with everything I've been putting down. So lawn's, the lawn's pretty healthy right now, believe it or not, in the heat. The lawn out front is healthy. I won't even show you. I won't even show you the back right now because the back is a disaster because we're we're trying to kill off the poa. I don't put down many chemicals in the back because of the dogs, but the poa is everywhere. We're going to show you that in an, another video coming soon. I'm going to spray tenacity down on it. If you guys know of anything better to use for poa, give me a something in the comments and we'll uh, we'll do a test on it because I have a big case of it and I'll show you next week. So I'm going to use my I'm going to use my elite spreader. This bag says 18 pounds of, of uh, yard mastery uh, will go 6,000 square feet. So we should be good to go. Well, we'll see you in a minute. Let me get on the lawn. It's not the greatest spreader. I'm going to look for a new one soon. And uh, but I use the Scott's Elite. I use that spreader and they're telling me to set it at five. Two, five, five, two, five. That should be right, right there. Five and a quarter. That should work. Look how nasty the inside of that is. That's from spreading the seed. I never cleaned it out. This will have a little bit of iron. Not quite as much as spraying it straight on the lawn, but we're going to spray it on the lawn later. Not right now, but this is going to be the stress blend. Yeah, it says it's out. Uh, Crafted fertilizer. Let's see how good it is. The only thing is I need the middle number and I don't have it in this. So we're going to use the starter fertilizer to bump the middle number up a little bit. I'll show you. We'll do the liquid right after we're done with this. Remember, it's only one. If I burn it to death, we could all laugh together. And when you do this, you overlap. This is easy because I have stripes on the lawn. So we're going to follow the stripes. We're going to do two stripes at a time. So this spreads two stripes at a time pretty evenly, I'll show you. So I didn't save any time by not cleaning this before I put it away. So now I have to clean it. To God. I think I should have done this in the beginning, right? Oh, I didn't clean this before I put it away. Now it's going to be all wet. So I got to dry it out in the sun a bit. I'm being punished for being lazy. I had to clean it. But now it's clean. Do even coats. Good thing is when the when the lawn's stressed, you could see the water goes on it. You can almost see where the water goes. Look, it's perfect. Half half of the bottle, half of the lawn. I got the other half to do. This spray is just amazing. I, I have it set at two and a half ounces, so the rate is two and a half ounces. So I'm getting through this whole portion of the lawn. So I'll be I'll do two thousand five hundred square feet at 
two and a half ounces with the full pack of the Sunday mix in here. So this blends it for you. So you don't have to use the, the crappy sprays that they have. That they make you pay for, by the way. I'm gonna split the lawn into quarters. So. so sometimes when you don't have the right chemicals, you could look for the numbers and match the numbers. So the three numbers will mean something. Well, if you take the numbers that you need and you blend them together with two fertilizers, you'll get your numbers you need. So this was actually two different companies. I blended them together to make the right balance, the numbers I needed. I'll show you on the screen exactly what I did and the numbers that added up and you could see the results are pretty good. So sometimes you have to get a little creative when you when you're putting down on your lawn to kind of match your soil test. So that's that's pretty much what we did here and it worked out really good results. I thought I was going to possibly burn the lawn because some of the numbers were a little high. And I'll show you and you'll see it up here. It worked pretty good. Yeah, I got now this this year I have to work really heavily on the backyard. That's the big problem. I don't use I don't use things in the backyard that aren't safe for the dogs. So I'm going to have to be a little more creative in the backyard. So what we'll do is we'll make a video on the backyard soon on how to recondition some pretty bad lawn. So stay tuned and thank you for staying with me. So I wanted to show you the next day. It's pretty good. This is like pretty good results. So it worked. The lawn, so the story is, is if the lawn looks a little beat up and it's getting really dry, just hit it with the fertilizer that you know it needs, do a soil test, get your results back and start hitting it. And that's how it's gonna come, come alive. So the, the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, when it was low in the test, we used two things. We used a bag of fertilizer and we used starter fertilizer to get the middle number up. The phosphorus was very low in the lawn. So the only way to get the phosphorus up to where we needed it was to take the middle number and take two fertilizers at once that made the middle number very high. And that's how we kind of spiked it. And I think it worked out really well. The lawn responded very quickly. So, so we're gonna keep using that technique until we get the, the middle number pretty balanced then we won't have to keep hitting it. So I'm going to do a little bit of seeding in the backyard. So the backyard's going to get plenty of it because we're going to use starter fertilizer to get the seed to go in the middle of the summer. I don't know what makes me think of these things, but we're going to attempt to reseed the backyard in the middle of the summer with the dogs around. It's going to be tough. I'm going to plug it on and uh, drop the seed below and then cover it and then water it a couple times a day and water it. So I'll see how that works out. I have the sprinklers back there and we'll get them repaired. Do a video on digging that up. Trying to repair the sprinklers that keep breaking. I'm not really sure what's going on back there, but we'll take a look. Of course, of course water has a lot to do with it. You have to really water consistently the one inch of water a week. And we, we've had no water this is just with the correct chemicals because we needed it and one inch of water. This has been a really good series because I believe that getting the soil right is the best best way to a good to a good lawn. Uh, the consistent cutting, soil right, and the water helps a lot. I have a couple spots. I'll show you. Let me show you. See, see the one spot right there. A little bit. I'm gonna work on that. But overall, the lawn came out really good. I want to thank everybody for joining and hit the like button if you liked the video and it was helpful. I'll see you soon.